Hi, Grant. This is Alan Cockrell with ABC Camps, former hitting coach of the Colorado Rockies and the Seattle Mariners. I'm going to analyze your hitting video as we start to move forward here. The first thing that I look at, obviously, is, is a setup. We, we want to have a good, athletic, balanced setup position. We want to have our head and eyes looking straight at the pitcher which you have your head fully turned, you're in a good position there. For me, Grant, I look at balance like this. I, I try to make sure my guys have their knees inside their feet, okay, and their head is inside their knees. Anytime either knee gets outside of my foot, or anytime my head gets outside of my knees or I start to go back too far in this direction where my head would be sitting over this back leg or if my head would get too far forward and it would be over the front of this front foot. So as you can see, you're very centered, you're very well balanced. Okay, we're going to move this, I'm going to erase and we're going to move this forward. We're going to go into the load phase of the swing and the load is preparation to hit, but really we're preparing to see the baseball, okay? So again, we're looking for those same balanced positions. We're looking for knees got to be inside the feet. We're borderline there. We're in a good position here, okay? Head just a little bit back, but still inside this back leg, so we're okay. We're going to keep moving forward, okay? As we get into the actual foot down phase, you'll hear get your foot down a lot in, in, in hitting with hitting coaches. The biggest thing that I look for here is that this front foot is not any more open than 45 degrees, okay, in this direction, okay. We're pretty good right there. We're in a pretty good position, okay. I'm also looking to make sure that my hips are square, okay. We're pretty good there, we're borderline, and that I have equal bend in both knees, okay? Those are the biggest things that I look for. As we start to move forward, again, we're looking for that good balance position throughout. So as we start to move forward into the actual swing phase, let me tell you something, Grant, you do a really good job, a really good job, of making a good positive forward move with this knee, moving into this front thigh, the inner part of this front thigh. This is a transfer of energy, and the lower half is so important with direction and drive that if I do not make a positive move forward into the baseball, and this head does not get over my belt buckle, Race that and try again. This head is not over my belt buckle, then I'm going to sit on my backside and I'm going to spin. You've made a good positive forward move driving this back knee into the inside part of this front thigh. This is a transfer of energy with your lower half. The next phase is the hands start to move forward after I've generated a lower half positive move into the baseball, okay? So we're going to run this a little bit forward. I'm going to clear all this. We're going to run this a little bit forward, okay? <clears throat> now we're looking to make sure that your shoulder your elbow and your back hip are all in alignment. This is called the connection. This is the connection that when the hands start to go forward, I'm now in a connected position with my lower half to hit through the baseball and drive the baseball because you've got a good lower half working forward to the baseball. Okay, we're going to start to move forward. We're going to start to move forward. you got a tough pitch right here, Grant. It's a little bit up in the strike zone. Your head and eyes doing a great job of keeping your head and eyes looking right down the ball. Okay, you're doing a really good job of keeping that head nice and still.
Okay, as we start to move forward just a little bit more, we get to a palm up, palm down position with your hands, which is very, very strong, very, very positive. Okay, we get to contact. We start to go to extension. Again, very tough pitch to hit, but you've done a good job of, of staying connected and getting your bat through the baseball. We'll start to run it forward just a little bit more. I'm going to get rid of these lines. Okay? Now, the biggest part of keeping that bat traveling through extension, through contact, is what we're doing with our lower half and what we're doing with our feet. Okay? I'm going to circle this foot right here because as we start to run forward, I'm going to, I want to see what happens. Okay, we start to get just a little bit of a of a of a heel spin with your front side. This is gonna really in, not allow you to get the good extension with the barrel finishing here and then back around in this direction, as as it would if we just kept tried to keep the the weight and the balance more on the inside part of this front foot, more into here, more into here, okay? We get a little bit on the heel, we get a little bit spinny with that front side, and that just doesn't really help us to, um, to be able to stay through the ball as good as you can. But you do a lot of things good, Grant. You really do a lot of things good. What I would do is, is I would just take some swings off the tee, soft toss, even batting practice, and I would I would try to keep that balance throughout my entire swing, even through finish, where I'm holding my finish at contact or past contact into my follow-through uh, position and, and really focus to keep the weight or the, the distribution of your, of your transfer on the inside part of this front foot as opposed to getting on that heel and kind of spinning off. But, Grant, you do a lot of things good, buddy. That, that's my suggestion, and I want to wish you all the luck in the world, and uh, thanks for uh, coming to our camp.